Shaping the future with chemical and metallurgical engineering. Why is metallurgy so important? Throughout early history, metallurgy defined the advancement of human civilization with the Stone Age, the Bronze Age and the Iron Age, through to modern society as we know it today, where metals and minerals are essential to almost every facet of our lives. But how do these materials go from what's in the ground to the products we use every day? And what happens to them once we're done with these products? Metallurgical engineers are the ones providing the answers. Why is there a demand for metallurgical engineers? Metallurgical engineers are vital to every step of the value chain for metals production. Extraction from complex primary sources, which are naturally occurring minerals and ores. Using various mechanical, hydro, pyro and electro processes to produce valuable products and then recovering as much valuable resources as we can from secondary sources, which include end of life materials and the byproducts of other processes. You can think of what a metallurgical engineer does as building a roadmap to get from A, the primary or secondary resource that we have, to B, the useful product that we need. Different routes can lead to the same destination, but we're always trying to find the best one, the most efficient, economical and sustainable route. With all the changes occurring in our world, we need these metallurgical engineers now more than ever before to meet our growing demand for metals while also ensuring the sustainability of our society. Meeting our growing demand for metals. As the world transitions to low carbon energy sources, we are seeing renewable energy technologies like solar panels and wind turbines taking the lead in new generation capacity, along with the electrification of transport and the rising use of battery storage. These technologies rely on a number of key metals and it is becoming increasingly difficult to meet our growing demand. This is especially apparent for our battery storage needs, with the World Bank estimating that the demand for these metals could increase by more than 1,000% to limit the global average temperature rise to 2 degrees. To ensure that we can meet this demand while also dealing with material scarcity of some resources and reducing energy usage, costs and environmental impacts, we need metallurgical innovation. Like the acid leaching process developed by UQ hydrometallurgists and licensed to pure battery technologies. This process can extract nickel and cobalt from low grade ores, which contain less of the valuable metals, more effectively at lower cost and with a smaller environmental footprint than current methods. While innovative developments like this are helping us to more efficiently use our primary resources, Another important part of metallurgy is utilising our secondary resources to turn our metals production chain into a circle. Creating a circular economy. You've likely heard the buzz around the concept of a circular economy, where waste and energy usage are minimised, while metals and materials are kept in use. This concept is becoming increasingly important in the metallurgy field, and already a lot of secondary materials such as industrial waste, are recycled to recover metals like aluminium and steel. However, one particular group of secondary resources is quickly becoming both a significant environmental issue and a treasure trove of valuable metals. What happens when all the wind turbines, solar panels and batteries that we use reach their end of life and need to be replaced? Or even when we throw out our old phones and computers? According to the United Nations, the world's annual production of electronic waste is currently 50 million tonnes and is expected to more than double by 2050. This e-waste is worth over $62.5 billion, but less than 20% of it is formally recycled, a figure that major companies in the metallurgy field are working to change. The many benefits of recycling e-waste include avoiding environmental issues related to landfilling e-waste, the significant energy savings compared to sourcing raw materials and helping us to meet the demand for metals without exceeding the Earth's limitations. But recovering metals from e-waste is no easy task. The diversity of products and the complex combinations of different elements make it difficult to optimise this process. Finding the best route requires expertise in metallurgical processes, which is why the field of metals recycling has many research and development opportunities. These videos show part of an investigation into the recycling of e-waste at UQ's Pyrometallurgy Innovation Centre. 
The experiment gives some insight into the complexity of research in this particular area of metallurgy, which involves physical processing, the use of hydrogen torches and high temperature furnaces, and methods to capture how systems behave at these very high temperatures. The importance of the metallurgy field to meeting our growing demand for metals and building a sustainable society means that there are many opportunities for students aiming to have a positive impact on the world. Through the Chemical and Metallurgical Engineering program at UQ, you will learn from internationally renowned academics and be provided with many opportunities in industry work experience, research placements, and even an overseas field trip for final year students. With the ability to work anywhere in industry, consultancy, or research and development, in Australia or around the world, you could truly be part of shaping the future of metallurgy and our world.